What's up guys, it's your boy Shark Boy. Welcome to another story time video. And um, today we are doing BAM. This one is very, very, very deep, and that one is what do you think about people killing themselves? So I'm gonna just talk about in general. So first things first, guys, in in my own um, you know, personal history, I've never had thoughts of suicide. I've never tried it. I've I'm you know I just have a different outlook on a lot of things and I really want to share and I want other people to you know work off of how I see things and I really hope people can you know see how from where I'm coming from so I'm just gonna build something random and this cow is gonna help me out too so let's set today and there we go so so first things first guys um I've I know a lot of people that are either depressed um, very like emotionally sad and they just can't get over it and I mean everybody gets sad everybody does you know I've been sad before uh, I imagine sometime in some point in your life you've been sad as well really yeah, very cool. we've all been sad at some point sometime in our life and it's nothing to be embarrassed about like it's come on let's be honest it's how life is People stress you out, people do whatever, you know, we get upset, we get mad, we get happy, we get excited, we get angry, everything. It's all part of life, and it's all a growing experience. It's all you learn from. And so I just kind of want to share my message because, like I said, a friend recently, I'm not going to state uh, any names, but a friend that recently came to me and he said, hey man, thank you very much for doing this, and you know, thank you for doing story time. And he said it was a great way to interact with your viewers and all that stuff. And I was I was so happy he reached out to me. And I, I told him, you know, if, if he ever needs any help, I'm going to be here for him. But I'm glad this topic came up because now if anybody you guys may know or if you guys are depressed, whatever the case may be, you guys can, you know, listen to this and just understand that everybody goes through it. So first things first, guys. Um, like I said, everybody does get depressed and all that stuff. But some people just can't control, you know, how much they can intake. And that's when, I'm gonna, I'm just going to say now, guys, friends and family are so important. Because if there's anything ever going on in your life, you need to tell them. Because by isolating it inside of you is very, very unhealthy. And I'm not trying to sound like some public announcer or something like that. But I'm just going off of what. I've done, you know, I like, I don't tend to have many problems in life because I'm the one that'll end it before it happens, if that makes any sense. So before I, I find the cause and I end it before anything happens, that's what I like to, you know, go by. But a lot of people now, you know, I'm in high school. I see, you know, there's people that are depressed. There's people that may cut themselves. There's people that do all this stuff that... Like, I just, I look and I say, you know, why? You know, don't think your life sucks. And I, I don't know what goes on at, at your house, but I'm just going to say this, guys. Your parents made you. Each and every one of you guys who watched this, all 7 billion people in the world were made. Some way, somehow, were made. And their parents made a commitment to raise a child and to... You know, to love you. If they, you know, if if they didn't want a child, they wouldn't, you know, have a child. They wouldn't go through the process of, you know, having a kid. But they said, no, we want a kid. And, you know, that that shows a lot because, firstly, you guys are born healthy. And that's a, that's a huge thing. Life is so precious and there's so many people, unfortunately, nowadays that have sicknesses or tumors or cancer. I don't know if you guys watched the live stream. My uncle died of cancer not long ago. And when my mom was eight years old, she had a brain tumor. And she was diagnosed with it Yeah, when she was eight. And she was lucky enough to get rid of it. And she's all healthy and happy now. But aside from that, she never looked on a day bad. As much as she could have died, you know, you always got to keep your head high. And so to the topic of 
people killing themselves. I, I don't have much experience with it because I've never tried it or I've never been involved with it. But I, I'm just going to assume people do it because they feel like there's no other way out. And trust me when I say this, there is. Honestly, like I said, your parents made you for a reason. And all of us, you, me, your parents, your grandparents, your friends, your family, we all have special talents, whether it could be computers, videos, maybe you are you want to be a professional gamer. And if anybody ever laughs at you and says, that's stupid, you no, that is not stupid. I've had people tell me, YouTube is so dumb and you play Minecraft, you're how old? And I say, I really don't care. And that's happened to me in high school. You play Minecraft? That's stupid. Why don't you grow up already? I say, I don't care. I don't let it get to me, you know? It's something that if if I enjoy what I'm doing, then you know what? No one's going to affect me because I love it. And if anybody ever talks down to you and says, you know, that's stupid or that's dumb or whatever it is, you know, <laughs> there's a difference between you and that person. Regardless if that person's doing anything good in their life, but you are pursuing possible quote unquote, uh, careers. Now, I'm not saying YouTube is a career, but YouTube opens many, many paths to careers, such as, for for example, myself, I want to get into acting, and YouTube is a great way to get into acting and all that stuff, because I'm used to talking in front of a camera, you know, I'm used to all that kind of stuff, and it's a, it's a huge door opener. So anyways, if anybody, like... You are going out of your way to say make YouTube videos. You are going out of your way to do and interact with your viewers or, you know, play games and train and really want to get good at video games because you want to prove to people that I I am very good. I am different than the others. But there's some people that just let people talk down on them. And whether it's just, you know, if you don't have friends or whatever it is, honestly... I'm I'm gonna be making an email very soon. I'm inspired by uh, Big Mac Nation to do this. He made an email, and it's for depression. And anybody who has any, you know, depression or anything that's going on, I'm gonna set up an email, and you guys can privately email me, and I'll hopefully get back within uh, a day or two. And uh, all the information said to me will be stay doing, like stay with me. I won't tell anybody, and it'll be a one-on-one -on -one conversation. You can tell me what's going on. And all that stuff. And I want to help you. Because honestly, I hate it when people get hurt or hurt themselves or anything that happens. So, all I'm trying to say, guys, is if you are depressed, really, really think about how precious life is. Because when, you know, just imagine this, guys. Say when you grow up, say if you want to have kids, okay? Or you can even think in your parents' perspective here. Your parent has a kid regardless son or daughter and they raised you and they love you very much now what if they found out that their son or daughter was hurting themselves what would they think instantly well this is one or two ways well what are we doing wrong why is our why is our kid doing this you know why is it something we're doing and the blame goes to them they feel like they're doing something wrong but it's all because that one person did something that got you upset or that one thing that happened and it just got you very upset. So imagine your kids. How would you feel if you say if you if you com tried to commit suicide? It's such a scary thing because what if you that was your kid, you know, somebody you deeply love so much that you can say I created you and I love you very, very much. Tries to end it all. First of all, that nine months that nine months of pregnancy ended it all. The brains and the smarts and the intelligence that you have ended it all. The personality, the the person you are in general ended it all. All because that you let something get to you. And it's it's sad. And I hope that you guys can relate to this video. Like I said, though, I've never been... I've, obviously, I've been sad and, you know, depressed before. But I've never tried suicide. I've never, you know, tried to hurt myself. I've never cut before. I've never done any of that. And that's from the bottom of my heart. I've never done any of those self-harm things. 
uh, to my body because I think about what I'm telling you guys because it is such a scary thing to think of sometimes and I hope nobody here would ever be upset or depressed I mean we all get sad but if there's anything ever shoot me a message on YouTube or anything and I'll, I'll get the business or I'll get the uh, that email set up very very soon you guys can contact me um, so I hope this video kind of helped you guys out a little bit and just my my view when it comes to um, suicide and people killing themselves please guys if you're ever depressed please talk to somebody you can even talk to me honestly I won't tell anybody I won't say anything it's staying with me but just remember how life how precious life is and how much time it took for you to be created how many years it took for you to be nurtured and how many years of you in general growing up and developing just remember all those years and you want to end it all all because of what someone said or what someone did or even if you're being bullied trust me bullies are only doing it because either a they're jealous of you b they have nothing better to do c they they they've had past history of bullying as well and they need to let it out on somebody just try and think where that bully is coming from if you're being picked on by school at school really think about the person the kid may have a really rough time at home and just doesn't know how to take properly take out his anger and he just needs to let it out on somebody you know that he can he feels he can take on so just as much as he may hurt you don't let it get to you because you have such an amazing life I've had people I'll tell you this now I I this year actually uh, these people told me or this person and actually no multiple people said I'm never gonna become an actor as much as I try they thought it was so funny and they thought oh just because one boy wanted to be become an actor that apparently I was all bad they went behind my back they said all this stuff to me they said all this stuff about me and you know what I'm just waiting for I didn't start anything I didn't start I didn't want to fight nothing obviously I talked to him about it but that's fine, but the time I'm waiting for is if I become an actor, I'm just going to look back to the day when he shunned me and said, no, you'll never do it. That's the day I'm absolutely waiting for, is the day he said I never could do it. And if I become an actor, or whatever the case may be, I'll tell him. I'll, well, I won't tell him, but I'll, he'll, he'll understand. It'll be an indirect quote, you know? It'll be an indirect message. He'll look back and he'll say, wow, I was so rude. And that's how I think a lot of people are. So guys, be positive in life. Be happy. Preach things that, you know, you think are necessary. Stay happy, you know. Surround yourself with friends that are good to you. And not fake friends. You don't want fake friends. So, this is all a bubble when it comes to killing your or anybody, you know, suicide, killing themselves, anything. This is all a bubble, I feel, around it. So... Anyways, guys, I'm going to end it off the episode here. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to smash the like button. If there's any more questions or concerns, uh, please leave me a comment down below. Um, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video because it was a video that I think maybe a lot of people can relate to or a lot of people can, you know, just use for reference if, there's any, if anything ever goes on in the future. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for being amazing subscribers and amazing viewers. You guys mean so much to me. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Take care.